They uh, shoot true documentary style form where you um, block a scene based on a two camera setup. So in your normal single camera, you would just block a scene to shoot 360 all around and pick up wherever shots you need to pick up shots for. Um, and with Modern Family, you have to think of the blocking with two cameras in standard positions and being able to swing around and grab whatever they need to grab. So you have to kind of block it knowing that there's certain angles that you're not gonna get and there's not pickups you're gonna get, so you need to get talent to get, you need your actor to get certain places so they can get to the camera shot. On my first scene, my first episode there, it was a scene I was shooting with Ed O'Neill and Rico at the bar in the uh, in in uh, in Ed's house, in um, the Pritchett house, and uh, I set it up. It was basically like uh, it was a scene where Ed is sitting there having a drink, and Rico plays the role of almost like a bartender, just you know, um, kind of letting Ed pour his heart out, and. I set up the first scene and the DP goes, well, I don't know how I'm gonna shoot this. I'm like, what are you talking about? And he's like, well, I can't move this wall. And I'm like, okay. And the writer had written it to set up at a bar a certain way. I'm like, okay, well then how about if he comes around this way and we shoot it this way? And it ended up working. But you know, my first scene, I set it up completely unshootable. So that's my legacy at Modern Family. Um, but you know, you quickly figure it out. But it's you know, it's that that's a learning curve when you come from true single camera, and you know, and I also have come from proscenium. You don't want it to be proscenium directing. It's true, like documentary style, where the camera swings around and finds things. But you have to kind of figure out where the cameras can be. And sometimes you have in your head exactly where the camera should be, <laughs> and the DP comes in and is like, Nah, what if you did it here and here? I'm like, Oh yeah, you're right. That's better. And then you have to kind of rethink your blocking and change stuff around. But um, the DGA staff on that show is fantastic and uh, Lisa Statman is one of the ADs and she's, you know, when you're prepping, if you're walking around and going, I was thinking this, she's like, well, you can't get really a camera over there, you know, and it's very helpful.